WavePads develops experience as medicine, experience as the foundation for change. And the way we do it is by creating a technology that we call an adaptive generative environment. It's an environment in the sense that we think through the different qualities of the environment, the music, the lights, the relationships. But it's adaptive, tailored to you as a care seeker, as an individual in this moment. And it's done so by being generated in a moment by a computational system that we develop in col collaboration with artists and technologists. This finding that there has been no improvement in mental health care treatment efficacy for more than 70 years is quite profound. And it really hints quite clearly that there's something missing in the way we currently understand mental health itself and the way we facilitate um, uh, support for people who suffer. A treatment that is um, really emerging these days, that is um, a treatment modality called psychedelic therapy, where psychedelic drugs like MDMA, psilocybin and LSD are being offered to patients in a safe environment. And efficacy has been demonstrated for addiction, for trauma, for depression. So that is hinting at a different paradigm and that made me really curious. And when I looked into the paradigm, into the method, I realized that during the duration of the drug effects, the patient listens to music for six to eight hours of the session. The original idea behind WavePads was to find a way to support patients and therapists in giving them the music that they need for these sessions. But I would say it evolved into more, something more interesting. And that is the question, can we view music as a psychedelic medicine? Can we view music as the main medicine that can facilitate these profound therapeutic improvements that we see in these clinical trials? We simply started to ask this question, how, what are the creative ways that are available that may be untapped into as well in a therapeutic setting to enhance the immersive nature of the music experience? And after doing some research, we really quickly realized that L acoustics are really thought leaders in that field. The project of Mendel will work at its best if, it's, if what is generated in terms of sound is credible. And credibility starts with what my mind is accepting as something that is really true. We at some point had this insight that the ELISA system is not a sound system. It's a musical instrument. Immersion means losing yourself in the music completely. Being carried away by the music as much as possible. And what that means is losing your sense of space, losing your sense of time to such a degree that there's nothing else left than you, your mind, and the music. I mean, the outcomes are, are better than we all could have hoped for. So working with the technology, working with the creative opportunities, and then tailoring that to these therapeutic objectives was really a fascinating uh, challenge for us that I think we did quite well on in the end.